Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do another unboxing and review of the Razer GTX 670 water block and the Razer GTX 670 backplate that it's only at the moment for the 670. This is a reference card designed water block and this is my favorite one that I want to get. Reason why, a lot of reasons, is because it's six inches small inches can six inches is six uh inches uh on it hold on so yeah six i don't think about it um brain dead right i'm a little bit tired diameter so it's about um yeah six inches long the card wide to wide so that's what uh anyway I'll show you a little bit of the book i'm going to probably leave the description of the pdf file um, I want to do two two-way SLI with this. What I like about it, it's so small, very compact. You could do four um, SLI with this. So you would imagine doing four cards with this. It would be really killer with updated drivers. So um, just by looking at it, just it's just remarkable. And it's, it's, yes, it's dual slotted, but there's a kind of a drag. But here it is. But anyway get this uh, show going with this you get two LED three millimeter blue your thermal pads cut pre-cut already same thing again you get your G1 threads you get five they're chrome black you get all your all your uh, screws accessories thermal compound and let me get this out it's a little bit heavy for being what it is but this is what I'm gonna get. Juggalo casing from overclocker.net. Got done this unboxing already. Actually installed it and everything. But I want to show a little bit. This is my favorite block. It's so small. People say that it's cute. Yeah, right. But look at that. That's so small. Handles the business. Full cover water block. Um, GP water block. All the Moffets, um, RAM, VR, RAM. And I heard that you could actually fit the 660Ti uh, reference and the SuperClock version too. So it'll be pretty good. Maybe some part etch out this and do some little customizing a little bit if you want. Um, even the back plate too. Make it a 660Ti. Anyway, this really is, looks really beautiful. Craftsman is very well made from XSPC. So I'm going to show you the actual back plate that comes in it. Gives you a little guide how to install it. There it is, pretty much. Very simple. Get thermal pads, screws, L wrench to actually install it. A simple back plate. Not gonna open it, but leave it sealed. That's actually completely sealed, but there it is. XSPC GTX 670 and looks pretty beautiful. I don't want to get any grace on it, that's why I have it protected on here. But I mean, look at it, it looks pretty kick ass. It should look like that. You have to mount this together at the same time, you can't just have one or the other. If you're going to put the plate on, it's just for looks, but it does cool it off a little bit. And start overclocking and all that. But overall, I do like this. I'm going to get two of these. Do SLI and all that. Alright guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. You guys, hit the like button. See you guys a little bit later. Alright you guys, just Kim Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do a little unboxing and review of the XSPC Razer GTX 680 new style. Um, pretty much they discontinue or they're still gonna still make the other one part they're probably gonna phase it out but this is the newer one just looks like the Razer GTX 690 and the GTX 670 reference one just same thing but covers the whole thing's plexi acrylic and a sheet cover um, pretty much like a um, what do you call it I'm trying to remember the brass black over it looks and you can put LEDs on the corners a three millimeter and pretty much to show you this, I'll put it on um, the description of this actual PDF. Um, 
installed the guide and everything. So pretty much the same thing. And try to zoom in, but try to pretty simple what to do. Like this one. I was thinking about getting the 680, but I like that double stack method, but I don't know. Here is your uh, actual uh, thermal pads. Actually, you have enough there pre-cut already. A uh, dual 3 blue LED millimeter. You got all your uh, actual um, G1 threads. All your little tie things to, to make sure it doesn't ground off or anything. Let's get this bad boy out. Sorry about that. So here is a beautiful, I'm not going to take off the wrap, but it looks very beautiful. Once again, XSPC, and the very smart enough, what they did is they cover it, so it just, just, just like the 680, the original one, like the metal uh, aluminum one, the covers the whole thing up, so there's nothing exposed to anything. Now, cover up, uh, so when you have the other copper covers all the moffets fire chokes you can actually get five threads two down one angle you don't need a 45 you have two down two here too one two three four five six threads g1 threads to able to do this um, looks pretty pretty bad and here's the actual thread you can tell it's see-through acrylic and what I like about it and you don't have to use any bridges like other companies you should follow this um, I like this method very affordable I'm gonna put a price on this yet um I need to actually upload it I forgot it comes with thermal compound too so are you guys have any questions about this leave a description below and I'll see you guys a little bit later